Hello, this is a photo experiment to prove that there was no trick used. Um, Robert felt uh, the presence of a being, of a pole, he said. And we're going to show during this recording that he's not using tricks when he makes pictures. Yes, I feel, uh, I, I get all the time in my head the name Paul, Paul, Paul. It's, I know the first thing that's coming up in my mind is most all the time the truth. Uh, I feel very strong, I can feel it now again, uh, the energy of an older man with the name Paul and uh, when I make pictures many times uh, through my mediumship uh, deceased uh, persons they passed over, they appear on the camera and I will uh, uh, prove now that uh, I use not uh, tricks. Okay, thank you. I asked Robert and it's very important to don't move his hands or, or his fingers to the buttons. That's very important. I'm first going to show that there was no picture already on the chip. It shows geen afbeeldingen beschikbaar. That means, if I translate it from Dutch to English, no pictures available. So the chip is empty. Okay. I'm going to switch back to the... yes. Okay, can you please show the lens? To show that there was nothing in front of the lens, nothing painted on the lens, yes, nothing placed on the lens. Okay, that's very important. Thank you, Robert. Now, can you please make pictures? No, no, don't, don't move your fingers to the button, please, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, you are ready? Yes. Then I look. Yo! Whoa! Wow. Whoa! Oh, a man. Yes. Oh, that's... Oh, yes, I see very clear. There's a man on the picture. Yes, that's absolutely. The face of a man. Immediately. Yeah, that's very, very, very yes. powerful. Yes. Immediately. Okay, can you move through the pictures? Wow, again. Whoa, again. I know his face. He looked like somebody I've seen. That's wonderful. Um, I don't wow, know where wow. exactly from. I must wow. it, it's also very proofful, Robert, because there were no pictures uh, before on the, the memory card. There was nothing in the lens, I showed that. And you don't, didn't move your fingers, so he was not able to switch, uh, for example, between the card or the internal memory. That's why I ask you to don't use your fingers on the buttons. Yes. So it is very powerful. Wow. And there were three pictures, I believe. You made three. Know, maybe three, four. Wow. That's very powerful. Wait, wait a minute. He looks like... Uh, wait a minute. Who is his name? You said Paul before. Is this a Paul? Yes, you mean yes, it's. I get. Oh my goodness, I get goosebumps. It, it, he looks like a man, and I think he, his name was Paul. And it's. It was. Um, I remember me something like uh, he was do something with humanism uh, and wow. skepticism. That's very, very. It's wonderful. very interesting. I get goosebumps. I was. I was see him somewhere in a YouTube clip or something. I know his face, and mm. I, I think what I remember me was, um, when I'm right, I, I'm not sure he was uh, some some sort of skeptic person or something. It's very interesting that uh, that he come on the picture. That that his face. Appeared. You say you say a skeptic. I remember me something, yes, that, that, that I was... You're not sure about it? Not sure about okay. it. I, maybe there, I get some more information, or so more details when I concentrate myself on him. Wow. But it's, it's very clear. <laughs> so proof, Robert. I, I record the whole thing, and of course journalists and other people did the same thing. The last time that I did the photo experiment, people said that you were maybe able to switch between the card or the internal memory. But I ask you in this experiment, don't... Use your fingers. And when I was the car was empty yes. and there was nothing on the lens, so it's very proofful. Yes, and I was feel very strong from. Oh, I must uh, watch back now. There is something going on. Yes, yes. You stopped after three pictures. Yes, yes. That was very strange. I get uh, immediately the drift to watch back, and 
I do that sometimes, but not all the time. That's strange that it was only, uh, I think, a uh, sort of synchron, synchron, synchron um, energy or something. But it's it's very, uh, yes, I shake a little bit uh, in my inside. It's it's beautiful and wow. proofful. And yes. Thank you. So, uh, also so powerful that it appeared immediately in the, uh, on the picture yes. for the experiment. Yes. <laughs> so wonderful. I can very clearly see your face, very clearly. It's almost uh, if he is here. But there are three, three different pictures. Can I move again through the pictures? Wait. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Wow, thank you. Beautiful. Okay, Robert, a few hours ago we did the photo experiment and there appeared immediately something in the picture, the face of a man. I recorded that uh, the chip was blank, there was nothing in front of the lens and that you were not able to switch between the memory card and the internal memory. So there was not a trick possible. But more important, why was this energy here? Why was this Paul here? Did you get a message, a feeling? Yes, I was get uh, the feeling that some energy was around me, and I was feel very strong that uh, there was some energy uh, try to make contact with me, and I was get all the time the name uh, Paul, Paul, Paul in my head, and I know when I uh, the first thing <coughs> that's coming up in my mind. It's most all the time uh, the true. As I was know that it was something external, that it was something uh, uh, behind me, around me, not from myself. And I was listening to that in in in, in intuitive uh, voice. And when I was tuned in on the energy, I was feel very strong that it was an older man. That this man. Uh, when he was passed over to the other side, that he was all the man. And then I was open myself and decide uh, and ask to a friend of me, uh, Stan, can you uh, uh, took your video camera and I uh, will get my uh, photo camera and we can do a close box test, uh, a proof uh, test when something is coming on the picture then we have a strong case that uh, people see that I'm not lying or that I hold something before the lens or that we do Photoshop. And uh, we must do that. Many times uh, dead people uh, appear uh, on my photos and appear uh, on the video camera. And this is now going on since 2004. And um, <clears throat> and okay, we was decide to to do that. You can see that in uh, you will see that in the clip. And then uh, I was open myself and make pictures, and he was appeared on the picture, but you will see in the clip. And then um, we I was recognized his face from somewhere and I don't realize exactly where uh, this man was come from but when I was watch good I was remember myself that I was see him in some YouTube clip uh, somewhere and then I was watch carefully and I was remember me some detail that he was a skeptic a skeptic person and he was humanistic and then I was uh, let it for what it for what it was, and then I was go to do research on Google, and I was uh, uh, try to found with his name only the name Paul, and then uh, skeptic or humanist, and I was found uh, Paul Kurtz, and then I was watching good and I was see uh, by Google image. Yeah, that it was his face, and that uh, it was the face that was by me on uh, the camera, and that that give that give something to think, um, 
and he was a skeptic and he was uh, not believe in God of life after the dead or he was believed that uh, nature is only biologic and is not a result from a higher consciousness. Okay. And then I was very uh, uh, wonder about his appearing uh, on the camera and then I was tuned myself in on his energy. Why, why you come to me? You know, you, uh, his energy was feel friendly and joyful and then I was asking why you come to me and then I was get a very emotional feeling, a feeling from that he will say so strong that he was making a mistake when he was living on the earth and that he was found some psychological stru structure to live in it what makes his life simple and more easy and he was believed really that what he was thinking that that was the true and now when his body is gone now when he is passed over now he realized that consciousness is not in your brain uh, it is uh, that your brain is a computer that translates your spirit and he was give me the message that uh, that he have now deep respect uh, for the mystery and that he realized now that there is a big, big, big creative, very creative source, uh, a very big willpower behind all the material things in space and in the universe. And that you will live forever. You know, that your body is the, 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 the space jacket that that's holds yourself in this time frame, in this reality. But well, that's there is coming a moment that it is kaput and then you go to to do something new. And uh, I was feel very strong that he will say to his colleagues, to to his um, uh, persons where he was work with on the earth, also skeptics and also non-believers in some higher consciousness or how you will call it God that they make mistakes, that there is much more and that they must not have anxiety. They, many skeptics are afraid, he was telling me, that they lost control. They will control the life. They will be sure that they have the control. You know, and they found an escaping, an escape, a psychological escape in humanist, humanistic structure, structure and um, and in skeptics, skeptic, uh, when you think skeptic about everything, and um, yeah, that 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 when you let breathe the life and you let come God or you how you will call it the source, let come in your life when you give it the permission, then you feel yourself. Uh, much more complete and then you have a passion for the truth and he will give everybody this trust uh, he was also telling me that when he was when his body was dead maybe for two or three weeks that he was have a fight with himself and with God what you call God and that he was ah, I think that he was dreaming that was just a hallucination and then he realized he was feel the love and he was remember himself before he was born before he was this intelligent man and he was feel himself very peaceful and very quiet and then he was know that there is that there is a big father or mother there above us that will solve for us and that we as humans must not have too big arrogance that we know everything that we know 
that we can control everything. I know that gives structure in your life, but it's not true. And many skeptics know that. He was telling me, many skeptics know that. It's anxiety. And they see also all the wars on the earth and all the things that are going wrong. And they think when there is a God, he don't do this. It's a big mystery. It's everywhere, but not in the logica. He, that's my own insight from me, Robert. I know that. But he was giving me some sort of same information that this source is so big and that we self have the responsibility. We are here on earth to recognize again the love, recognize again what will you choose, the dark or the light, and you get the freedom. You can murder when you will, you can, when you feel in your insights that it is not good. You know exactly what's good and what's not good. And we are here in a big school, in a time frame to learn that, to come in the real life, in the future, what we call heaven, of the life after that. And that's the world that's standing above all the solar systems and all the star constellations. And he was get a bigger insight that the goodness will win forever, but that we must self took, take us responsibility. And he, <clears throat> he will, very strong, um, I feel that he uh, feel himself more free now, and it's look like oh, he can breathe more now, and that he is free, and uh, that he, um, yeah, live now more complete and he will also say to uh, other skeptics uh, that they must uh, try to be open for the mystery and that they not, not must be afraid it is only positivity it's only love and peace and um, they will not um, when you know that, then you get an adult growing up uh, consciousness. And that's more the consciousness that you get when you are official dead. But he is, uh, I was feeling lots of love from him. And he will, he was very strong, try to say that scientists in this time must uh, let flow the arrogance the, 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 when they can let let it go then they get more what they want and then they are real scientists and then they are open every day every new day new new day open for the mystery and then they get also the right to know more from the universe, from this planet, from themselves. And um, I feel very strong that he will say that and that he will send his love to also the people where he was working with. They are sitting now in a presence of, in a jail of psychologics, lies. And sometimes they are right, they are things they are not right. And they are meats and they are fantasies. But there is also a truth, much more. And he will say this. And he will thank everybody that will pay attention. And I thank him also that he was try to canalisate his energy through my mediumship. And I hope that you will do something good with it. And that also maybe people when people see this clip and they was working with Paul, that they know also that there is also for them hope and a chance to open the heart, to open the soul. Do something good with this, do what you will with it and uh, I hope that you, uh, that you will uh, 
do something good with it. God bless you.